Hello again, this is Falcas with a small tutorial about how to use Weapon Delivery Planner in a technical engagement multiplayer environment. This will be a two part tutorial. First part will be for a mission commander setting up the mission with all the pre planned threats and lines. And the second part will be for a wingman or a client and explains you how to use and handle the files in a correct way. I've created a mission already and I did not save any data cartridge files, did not add any lines or nothing, so we're still missing the mission.ini file and I'll show you how Weapon Delivery Planner will handle this. Let's first open up the mission in Weapon Delivery Planner. The mission is named uh, Chaos on Strike and after it's opened we'll go and pick our flight. Because this is only a very simple Technical engagement, it's easy to find the flight we want to fly. It's an F-16 flight doing a strike at the Chaoson textile mill. And after selecting your flight you already see that the data card has been filled out with as much information as possible. On top here you see the current weather which is actually very nice. You see the information for the departure info like the Takan channel, the tower frequencies and uh, some runway information and ILS information same for arrival departure and also some airport information for the alternate. Here you can see some information uh, about all the other aircraft flying in the same package and which job they have to do. Our flight plan and on the other side on the right side here you can see the loadout that we carry, our performance calculations for the takeoff and other fuel settings, some data for the target and of course support information like tanker and AWACS. Let's move to the map and have a look at the mission. Here you can see the mission. This is a very basic mission. Flying up to the north and hitting the case on strike. You already see that the intel officer have found a couple of threat circles indicating it in yellow. Yellow means that they are given to you by the intel officer and not yet in the data cartridge itself. So let's add them to the data cartridge by using the auto preplant thread function and all the SAMs have been added. We also had some tanker support. You can see this just to the side of our route, it's Camel 1. Just go to one of the corners of the tanker track and you can add them as a line steer point. Let's add them in this case as line 1 and you see the tanker track has been added. I also want to quickly draw a float line in this case and I use line 2, just go with the mouse right click and add the point where you want it right click add point 2 and maybe down here 3 add again as still point 4 and let's add the last point here as a good reference. There we have our float line. And you see how quickly it's uh, done to set up tanker tracks, pre planned threads, and uh, other lines that are useful. Now that we have everything set, we quickly want to save the data cartridge. And in this case, Weapon Delivery Planner did not find a mission.ini file, so it will create it by itself. You'll see it saves your callsign.ini and it will also save uh, any file with the same name as the mission. It will also place this file at the correct location. I will talk about this location in the second part of the tutorial. So actually if you're flying single play you are ready to go. You can just start up uh, BMS, join the mission. You will see all the pre-planned threads and lines. You just quickly go to fly. So you're done. In case you want to fly this in a multiplayer environment, you want to have some files transferred to your fellow pilots. So let's save the data card here on the left. It will ask you uh, the mission name and the package number. This is for the sorting system that Weapon Delivery Planner will use. It will already fill this out completely by itself, so you can just hit the OK button. And also here it will ask for the last name of the files exactly and it automatically takes the name of the flight that you have joined in this case it's Cowboy 1 just hit 
the save button and all the files will be saved. So let's have a look at the location where the files have been saved and actually what files have been saved. You can use the cards directly to quickly navigate to the directory. It is actually location, it's in your weapon delivery planner installation directory, subdirectory data cards and subdirectory with the mission name, in this case chaos on strike, another subdirectory with the package number 3724 and then the last directory it's called cowboy1 and there are all the files that you need for this mission. For only one flight this is a little bit overkill but if you are flying with uh, about 30 people flying five six different packages and all want to coordinate it with data cards then you will find that this sorting system is very useful. We find four files. The first file is this file actually it has an extension uh, named Bravo Delta Charlie that's the backup card and in this file all the things that you filled out in the data card are being stored so that you can later recall them again so you don't have to refill all the data card stuff later on. I'll make a separate tutorial about this later on. Then you find uh, two pictures. The first picture is actually a picture of your data card. This is very handy. You can print it out or you can put it on a mobile device, whatever you like. And the second one is a coordination card that actually has more information about timing and stuff. I didn't show you that. I will show you that in another tutorial how to use that. And the last file is actually the ini file, the mission.ini file and it has the pre-planned threads and steer points stored and those files you actually want to transfer to your colleagues. So I'll wrap them up to a RAR called Cowboy1 and I will transfer that file to my fellow pilots and the next part of the tutorial will handle how to use that.